stressing on like um stressing on skateboarding. You know, like you know, people get oh I'm so pissed off. I remember people just being happy that they could just roll. Right. You know, that was one of the keys I think to like why I liked, like why I look back at that period, and to me, man, I was supposed to go to school. And I, that was out the door. Like I seriously was like. I went to Davis and was supposed to go to school, and it just kept, everything was like, I went there, I remember, I left, I left home, Santa Barbara, bored down, everything, and here I am in Davis, skateboard underfoot. When do you first remember meeting uh, Tim and Cody Lane? That was like, those nights at Davis at the parking lot, at the, when we, like, uh, we would chill with them at the parking lot. Cause they were hilarious. They were punk kids. Their their mom had a tat. I remember they had the mom or something. Their mom had a tattoo, or their sister had a tattoo. I remember like that was one of the early days of seeing people with tats. Right. And their like whole family was tatted. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you know what I mean. Those kids. But those were like you know early development. Those are the kids that in life they teach like later in life you're kind of like yeah those kids inspired me. And they would they would go out to the woodland ditch and stuff oh, with you gosh, guys. The woodland ditch. Cunningham and Sam Cunningham, Ricky Windsor, Ron. I mean. Oh. Everybody went to that thing. That's that's where backside bonuses, fast plant backside bonuses. Sam Cunningham, really? No man, he could do. He yeah, he would do that trick, and you'd see him do it, and you'd make it look so normal and natural that you would have to do it that smooth to make yourself feel like you at least came to his level. Yeah. What what kind of injuries have you sustained over the years? Ah, oh, everything. Since you broken foot, like a breaking, like every you know, you start to learn that. Like half the time, hospital visits are a waste of time because you don't really you know what you did, you know what you got to do. You're like, ah, oh, I twisted my like this. I twisted my ankle. What are you gonna do? Go home and ice it, get some cream on it, and get off of it. So I don't need to have some doctor tell me that. Now I do believe that we most of us should have X-ray machines. That'd make it a lot easier for us. <laughs> if you could, then if you could just x-ray me so just I have your I'm, own thing yeah I'm not, as long as you just didn't get radiation from it yeah i don't need no radiation sickness but it'd be cool to get like okay that's what i look like okay i'm good all right let me go on about my business you know what i mean like but 